Hello. I just came to do some tarot reads for Valentine's Day. This is for all those of you who are lovers. Um, let me see what we got. Okay, first card out is the Five of Air. It says, um, an unwise choice. Learn what you can from the situation and review everyone's motives. Interesting way to start the read. Um, that's not necessarily a bad thing, though. Uh, that, you know, Five of Swords in the traditional tarot is kind of like someone being kind of smug or one-upping somebody on something. So you may feel like maybe proud like so in in the context of like going on a you know a really nice valentine's day date or something like that you might feel proud of yourself like you upgraded you know or that you're doing better than you were before so it's not always a bad thing um let me see what else comes out yes i know nala's gonna put in her two cents as normal um 16 came out life experience this is archangel chamuel um, a significant life event, a powerful revelation that leads to change. Time to spread your wings. Okay, so this is kind of saying, you know, maybe if you're upgrading, jump into it, you know. Oh, two cards came out with that, so that was significant. Um, jump into it, like, full, full heartedly go towards this new life experience that you may be uh, offered. Yeah, we have the Seven of Fire. Um, defend your beliefs and decisions. Stand your ground. Choose your battles wisely. And then we've also got the Six of Water in reverse. So in the upright, this would be memories from your history or your childhood, issues regarding children, and romanticizing the past. So actually, this is really positive. This looks like to me that you're triumphantly kind of moving towards manifesting something new for yourself. The Five of Wands is defending, and um, the Six of, of Cups is kind of an old friendship or an old relationship so maybe you're just really happy happily moving on from or feeling smug um about d upgrading yourself to a better life experience of some type especially um you know archangel chamuel this is a very significant life event is going to happen so um whatever powerful kind of movements happen this evening it's gonna be it's gonna be a good thing so um i think you should just go with the flow kind of relax and let things take over don't dwell on the past anymore things have drastically changed and our the wheel is turning forward i feel like sometimes things are uncomfortable that is you know part of the process okay the emperor just came out as well as the queen of earth so actually, this is really good. This is the Queen of Pentacles as well as the Emperor. So um, Queen of Pentacles is really stable in her money, um, very material-based kind of wealth. Maybe someone's getting a very nice gift um, from the Emperor, which is oftentimes a father figure or somebody who um, has a position of authority or power, per perhaps. A, that could be the male energy or potentially the female energy if she's the more dominant of the two. You guys will know how it applies, I'm sure. Um, let's see what the outcome for this evening, the general message for this evening would be. All up a cat, all up in your face. That's, <laughs> ah, that's the message. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's funny. Um, yeah, so maybe you're going to have a cat all up in your face of some type. So, um, ooh, the three of fire just came out. So three of wands in the traditional tarot deck just means that you've got options moving forward. Maybe someone's being a little player. You know, if there's cat all up in your face, maybe you've got three different options. Or maybe you've got, um, you know, quite the change of pace here there is a life experience that is going to be shifting away from old patterns towards a, mu a much more prosperous level of engagement don't bother um i'm sorry these cards are like all over so yeah maybe this is something that's that's really the, the emperor is a four so four is the home um and then you know 
the three of, of fire is like options and then the queen of wands and the emperor is are a couple or p potentially both sides of yourself balancing out if you're single so um in any case this looks like not a bad thing some new good great new beginnings are starting to bloom it looks like and kind of um take flight it's looking like uh, new decisions are being made moving forward and old habits or cycles may be being broken since this uh six of water is in reverse and the seven of fire is also here so i think that's really good guys i think honestly um whatever you're doing tonight have some fun do you i def definitely think Okay, these are the last cards because these are a lot, but I don't like turning down messages from spirit. There's four, so that that's good. That's like the home that was the emperor is the number four here. So we'll stick these four cards under the emperor. Um, I have the ten of earth in reverse, the two of earth in reverse. Okay, so ten of pentacles is happiness, but in the reverse, it's like unhappiness. Coupled with the two of earth, though, this would be the juggler in the traditional um, deck. It's like the, the two of pence or the juggler. So this is you not juggling your happiness anymore. This is somebody being like, forget it. I'm not going to play around with my happiness any longer. This is a no-go or maybe it is a, a absolute go. Maybe you're just completely switching gears. Um, three of water is here. So... Um, Three of Cups is a reunion of some type. And then the King of Air is here. So this is a, a reunion with truth and reunion with authority. Um, a reunion that you clearly thought about, that you're speaking, living. Um, this this King of, of um, excuse me, King of Air is, is a very direct, he's the King of Swords. So he's really got um, a lot of power behind his throne and behind his stance he's not going to mince words with you much and on top of that yeah this is a very definitive reunion with this 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 is this is the king of the king of swords is no longer putting up with jack ish okay he's done he's not if it's if it's not making him happy he's not doing it so that's awesome this looks like some really strong masculines might be coming through at this point um more or less stating their staking their claim or trying to at least and um wanting to change old patterns of behavior which looks like they're defending um defending the queen of earth so that could be an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn the king of air is going to be an air sign. So that could be an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Um, the emperor is oftentimes an Aries. But it could be Sagittarius. Or another fire sign. Um, yeah, that kind of looks like all that we've... All the people that we've got on the table here. So... Aries, Leo, Sage, fire sign. Uh, we've got an earth sign, and then we've got an air sign. So this um, emperor came out actually with the queen of earth. So I would say this is probably the couple. If you are in a couple, this is probably representing the two energies in the, the couple them. And then the king of air may be the more dominant of the two, maybe stating something very clearly tonight. Somebody's probably getting proposed to. Um, this is like a, he's got a big old sword. He's going to speak some truth. He's going to be very clear about what he wants. Um, and as those other, you know, the, the two of earth and the 10 of earth in reverse just means that he's not going to be juggling his happiness. This is not a joke. This is no laughing matter. No laughing matter. So anyway, um, you guys have such a good Valentine's day, <laughs> whatever you're doing to celebrate. I hope that it's wonderful. Um, all of your love, romance wishes come true, and I will definitely catch up with you guys a little bit later. <laughs> Bye.